kicking off the weekend early and unchanged from his side to face a Blues team that's lost seven straight but still boasts a pack laden with talent. You know, they've got six out of their eight uh, in our All Blacks you know, and you can't take that away from them. One of them being Jerome Kano, Jared Butler set to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the All Blacks ace. Once he gets on that front foot, he's got a really nice offload to go with it and he, like, he does a really good job of getting like, through the first contact. The Tars, king of the kids ahead of their home game against the Stormers, the defending champs naming the same starting 15 but with Tatafu Palotta now and Adam Ashley Cooper to return via the bench. Yeah, he was looking good running around there today, so um, no, it's great to have Adam and his experience back. I'm um, just, you know, the key notes he said in the trade is really important. New South Wales to auction off their match jerseys for charity. <laughs> The force back after the bye to face the Cheetahs at home. Good news midweek with fullback Dane Haylett Petty re signing until the end of 2017. Try Dane Haylett Petty. Uh, Perth's a great place to play rugby, out in the sun every day. Um, and I think the organisation's heading in such a good direction as well. So I'm really excited about uh, where we're going to head in the next couple of years. And the Reds have visited the Jabalani Rugby Club in Soweto ahead of their clash with the Bulls in Pretoria. Reds TV catching up with Ben Daly as he was on hand to donate heaps of footy gear. Yeah, so going here today was uh, Bo Robertson's brainchild. Through supporter, uh, we gathered a lot of kit um, from a lot of the boys around the team and around the local Brisbane um, population and uh, we're going to give it to these kids at the end of the day. They don't know it yet, so hopefully uh, there'll be a few smiles. James O'Connor will miss the Bulls clash because of a calf injury.